Hello everyone, our project is on using deep learning to perform abstractive text summarization with attention and pointer generator network. Our task is to generate headlines from news articles. We implemented a number of approaches that can be divided as non-deep learning, deep learning baseline, improved and advanced. We will be comparing the summary generation results using a common metric in machine translation called Blue. Our project is built on previous research in the field of machine translation. The main goal is to improve results from LopiRef's project in 2015. The main architecture is the sequence-to-sequence -sequence network published in 2014. We adopted the ideas of pointer generator and coverage from Abigail C's paper. We start by using LSA as a basic model. This is an extractive summarization method that uses singular value decomposition on the TF-IDF matrix at the input. It extracts the highest weighted sentence from the right singular matrix as the output summary. As a deep learning baseline, we implement a sequence-to-sequence -sequence model frequently used in machine translation. It uses RNNs to encode the input into a vector, then decodes it by a second RNN. At each time step, the encoder takes in the current word embedding and the previous hidden state and outputs a new hidden state. The decoder uses the hidden layers to produce an output from each token. Each generated word is subsequently fed into the decoder as an input for generating the next word. We improve upon our sequence-to-sequence -sequence model with two techniques. First, we implement a tension mechanism. We calculate attention weights that represents the probability distribution over the source words, then a context vector that we represent weighted average over the last hidden layers. Softmax is applied to the weighted average along the last hidden layer from the current decoding step. This allows the model to determine which source words are important when generating new headlines. We also implement teacher forcing algorithm. This allows our model to use the ground truth of the next token in the sequence instead of the output of the previous decoder during training. This can solve issues with slow convergence and boost our model performance. The sequence-to-sequence -sequence baseline suffer from two issues. The generated summaries may produce factually incorrect information and can contain many repeated words. We approach these problems respectively with pointing and coverage. The pointer generator networks allows both copying words via pointing and generating words from a vocabulary. At each decoder time step, a generation probability is calculated, which determines whether to generate words from the vocabulary or copy words from the source. The vocabulary and attention distributions are weighted and summed at the end to form the prediction. We built on top of our pointer generator model with coverage, which sums attention distributions over all previous decoders and introduced an extra loss term. This penalizes the network for attending to the same words again. During this part, we'll conduct both quantitative and qualitative analysis on our experiment result. In our experiment, the approaches that we have tried can be roughly divided into these four categories, and we will be using loss and blue score as our evaluation metrics. Firstly, for the base model, we implemented a linear LSA and three base deep learning model using different RNN units. It's clear to see that BioSTM is having the best performance. Possible reason may be that BioSTM can utilize the information from both previous and posterior context. Therefore, we decided to use BioSTM as base RNN unit to carry on with further experiments. Secondly, in the improvement part, we can see that both teacher forcing and self-attention has managed to improve the model performance, and together they can dramatically boost the blue score to 0.045. We think this improvement should be credited to the advantage of self-attention and teacher forcing, which makes up for the flaw of the by LSTM that tends to forget the long-term dependency and prevents the error from the previous prediction being passed into the next state, respectively. Last but not least, Surprisingly, at first sight, we find out that the model performance after adding the pointer generator and coverage is not as good as before. However, after digging deeper, we think this can be explained by the fact that we added more component to our loss function, and also our matrix failed to capture such improvement, which will be further explained in next part. Therefore, after the quantitative analysis, we'll give you more example to help you understand how our model is improved using these techniques. Now let's go over an example to see how our summarization models perform qualitatively. This is an example selected from the test dataset. The original news article talks about the tech billionaire Peter Thiel's opinion on Palantir valuation. As you can see, the original news highlight is Confidential document shows how Peter Thiel really feels about Palantir. We can see our base model, which is based on by LSTM structure, fails to capture any meaningful information in the original news and is just outputting some random frequent words that don't make any sense. The improved model with attention mechanism and teacher forcing 
managed to capture the information of confidential document. This validates that the attention mechanism improved the model performance by better locating where to look at in the original news when generating summarization. The advanced model with pointer generator and coverage implemented on the basis of the improved model does even a better job by successfully capture another important information of Peter Thiel. Words like Peter Thiel could be very hard to capture by our previous two models, which are trying to generate similar words based on probability distributions over the vocabulary in the entire dataset. The capture of Peter Thiel shows how the pointer generator networks takes the benefit of including the probability of outputting words directly from the original news. We can also see that our improved model and the advanced model achieve higher blue scores in this sample. In conclusion, BioSTM self-attention, teacher-forcing, pointer generator and coverage are all proven to be effective approaches to help us improving the abstractive text summarization performance in different aspects as shown here. As a result, our best model beats our main source paper's blue score of 0 0.05 by 0 0.075. If given more time, preparing cleaner dataset using dynamic word embedding like ELMO and trying more suitable model structures are definitely worth trying.